I made a documentary called Cartel Land, and, and soon after I was approached about making some narrative films and was sent a number of scripts, and then an early draft of, of, of this script came to me, and um, it just spoke to me in a way that I just felt like I had to make this film. Um, I, I felt a huge connection to Marie um, as someone who's, who's been in conflict zones and, 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 and covered tough situations, not to the extent that she has, obviously, but um, and I think especially at this time when when journalism is, journalism is, is under attack, I, you know, it's, it's quite an important story to be told. And so I, it just was a, sort of a no-brainer for me. Um, and I felt kind of deeply honored to be able to tell it. I made a film with Alma Asante um, called United Kingdom. And, and we were in the editing. She was, Alma was editing the film. And, and she had heard that a film was being made about Marie Colvin. And she said, she said, I, she said I don't know if you know who that is, but, but I'd, love, I'd love to see you play that. Um, and you know, if someone says that, you're intrigued. And mm -hmm. I and I uh, went and realized I did know who Marie Colvin was, but I I, I shamefully hadn't put the name to the face. Um, and then started reading it about her. And and when you start reading about her, it's very hard to stop because you know she's she's sort of an infectious person. And then I looked uh, look, look, looked at her talking, and then you know you, it's even more infectious because mm -hmm. she was so inimitable and funny and impressive. Because you know when she really spoke about what she was passionate about, it, it's just her words were so powerful, and she commanded such attention and respect that you can't really turn away. And then everything I read, you know, spoke to the fact that here was this incredibly impressive individual who went to places that other people were fleeing from. But that the fallout of all that integrity and all that fierceness was this very, very complicated personal life, um, and the effects of, of witnessing so much trauma on on a on your own brain and, and on any kind of sense of status quo that you hope to find in your home life. And so it started to really obsess me. Matt really encouraged me to talk to as many people as I could speak to, and I and I started talking to all her friends, and I realised pretty quickly that she was quite capable of showing a different side to everybody who knew her. She had very specific relationships with people, but they were quite compartmentalised. And, you know, she really had not multiple personalities, but, but many different colours and sides. Um, so talking to people as much as possible was absolutely vital. And, and I, I think it was that, you know, it's, it's making sure that you get that fierceness and when you're in pursuit of a story. And, and couple that with where the darkest places are when you're in your solitary moments. I think I thought if I could get those two colours in there, then we'd be able to fill in all the areas in between. Well, I was very lucky in this regard in that Paul was with us the entire shoot, and we shot it in Jordan. And I'd been put in touch with Paul before, so um, I'd got a little bit of an insight into sort of his world and the sort of man that he was and the sort of work that he did before we went out there, but then I mean, he was literally. Uh, I think he was. I think he was meant to come out for two weeks. Like he signed something saying he was coming out for two weeks, and he, he never left. <laughs> he was with us till for the entire day until until we wrapped. So, um, yeah, that why I was just so fortunate and have this sort of um, constant presence of the person I'm playing, which is like invaluable for any actor, obviously. And um, he's uh, he's quite a unique character. Uh, I love him very dearly, and. Uh, He's a bit mad, and uh, <laughs> but he's a real treat to to play someone who has all these different aspects to them, you know.